Well, hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to take a look at the performance of the AMD Radeon Pro Graphics, aka the 680M graphics, inside the Radeon or Ryzen 7 6850U CPU. And we are playing this right now at the native 720p resolution. And we're playing this in a mixture of low to medium settings. So yeah, let's go. The mission is selected and let's see how well this one fares. And as you can see, my memory is only 500 MB large and I couldn't actually get it to uh, accept it to go up to the 8 GB, which is actually available uh, to allocate to the VRAM in the BIOS. So I'm not quite sure what's happening there. But nevertheless, we have 32 gigabytes of dual channel LPDDR5 6400 megahertz fast um, dual channel RAM. So that should not be too much of a concern to us. But yeah, let's see how well this one will run. Because I've already tested it on a, a 1650 aka NVIDIA Quadro T2000 graphics card and that already was only running at, what, 30 FPS? I don't actually know which settings uh, that was on though. So I'm very curious to find out just how well this one will run here. And I think we're playing this at least at level 7 difficulty. So we should see a lot of enemy action going on. Obviously this here is the defense mission. So we do have opponents and bugs approaching us at all times. So we should get a good look just how well this will run. Yeah, this uh, Ryzen 7 CPU is inside my Lenovo ThinkPad P14S um, Generation 3. So this means that it runs with, I think it's somewhat around 45 watts in the short term power limit and around the 30 watt mark in the extended um, PL2 power limit. So if we see this 32 watts uh, that we're seeing right here getting kept up by the CPU, that should lead us to pretty nice performance for the CPU and GPU as well. So let's just hope that this machine is capable of doing so. And yeah, you can already see that 17 gigabytes of RAM are already surpassed, so it is a very good thing that this one actually has 32 gigabytes of dual channel memory inside. And yeah, I have to say, I mean, I've, I just received this machine today and this is running under Windows 11 Pro uh, instead of the Windows 10, which I had running on, which I have running on all my other machines. Um, and so far in this game, obviously it's hmm, 24 FPS. That is not a super smooth experience. I will not doubt that, but to be quite frank, it could be worse, like literally, it really could be worse. Um, in my opinion, it is still feeling playable like most uh, cards in this game that I have played so far with really felt pretty nicely in this title, just due to the fact that you can see our frame time graph here, which is basically uh, a solid line. And that really indicates to you that it's not dropping any FPS, which is like the most annoying thing that you will have when playing video games. So yeah, having 24 FPS obviously isn't ideal either, uh, nevertheless. And also you can see, I mean, it's at 720p and I'm playing this at a 32 inch monitor. So it is not looking just all that great here. Like it's very pixelated to be honest. But yeah, I found that, at least to me, Helldivers 2 is pretty much uh, just as enjoyable on these lower GPU settings or on these low graphics settings as it is to me uh, on the higher settings, just because the game itself is just very much fun to play. But yeah, it's, it's really struggling here. Like, I would absolutely say you can definitely play the game. Especially due to the fact that it's a co-op shooter and uh, it's not against other people and you don't have to react like in a split second most of the time. But nevertheless, it really 
it is really hard on the CPU and GPU. And I would actually have expected it to fare better because the 680M should be around the um, 1050Ti graphics card uh, in a laptop CPU fast. So that's not a super fast GPU either, but obviously it's uh, not that much lower than a 1650, which I've already tested this game on. So I don't quite know why it is uh, struggling this hard, at least here at 720p. I really would have hoped that it would be a little bit uh, handling this game a little bit better than how it, how it is handling the game. And I really don't know why this guy is still alive. I mean, I've shot him like, what, 50 times now? Jesus Christ. Yeah, and you can see really graphics-wise, this uh, is looking very, very rough. So yeah, I mean, I can still play it, and it is not the worst experience, but if you're really into Helldivers 2, uh, I would really only play this when you're on the go and in your hotel room on a business trip, <laughs> if you're actually allowed to play on your business uh, laptop and install just games like this. But yeah, apart from that, I don't really think I would really go and want to play this game on this machine. Because I would really have hoped uh, for a little bit better experience and obviously I won't dare to actually increase the graphic settings, graphic settings and actually increase it to like a higher resolution or even increase the settings because it's already struggling so much at 720p with these pretty low settings here. So I doubt really hard that it would make any sense for us to tinker around with the settings even more here. And on the other side, I would also not uh, go ahead and turn down the resolution anymore. I mean, obviously this is a 32 inch monitor, so uh, if you're playing this on your 14 inch ThinkPad monitor, then you most likely will be fine, even at 720p, simply because at your small screen it just doesn't look bad. But yeah, looking at this on the really big screen here, and just seeing this pixelated mess everywhere, it's its just not the greatest experience. But yeah, I mean, I can still dodge chargers and everything, so that's not too bad. And I want to say, I think this 680M in here is really one of the strongest uh, ones that you will find uh, on any laptop, simply due to the fact that the uh, thing that actually is Giving uh, is feeding the CPU so much power. So, yeah, this is basically your best case scenario for the 680M here. And if this one is struggling this much already, then I don't even want to know just how much a weaker 680M in another system will struggle here. But yeah, as you could see, the game is definitely playable, but uh, I just really don't think it's too enjoyable at this stage, simply because it really doesn't look all that great, and due to the fact that right now we're mostly at the 20 FPS mark, it really also doesn't play all that great. It's just, it is playable, but it's just not very much enjoyable.